This episode of Alternative Dwellings is brought to you in part by ViaBox. More on that later. Hi, my name is Maya. Uh, we're here in beautiful Santa Cruz, checking out my Van Beluga. And uh, come on and check it out. This is my little dog, Happy. So this is our bed. Um, we've got some storage under here. We've got this long door. Can you believe I have nothing in here right now? <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I got extra storage down here too, lots of it. I got a table down there, like chairs, extra blankets. There's not much light. We don't have much light left. So this is my sink. Um, it comes down to in here, of course, baby wipes. Everybody that lives in a van, I think, has at least used baby wipes at some point. So yeah, my sink drains down into there. And uh, I love to cook, so I have lots of food storage lots of spices all my little kitchen gadget things this is actually my favorite one of my favorite things about my van though so this thing's super cool it doesn't need electricity or anything you just need to have like a propane stove or some type of stove to like get your food cooking and then you just stick it in there and it actually like cooks on its own so it's like really awesome i love this thing and then i have a little table it's up here yeah i have all my hanging clothes and then i actually have little shelves built in over here so i have like little things that go in there which is you gotta have all the extra space you can in a van so you find all the little nooks and crannies to fit every little thing so yeah, you can't really see anything, but these are my shoes. Um, yeah, lots of little drawers, lots of storage. <laughs> I have like a little mirror to get girly over here if I need to fix, you know, my face or something. I have my, my little plant area over here. Where I have little miniature plants. If you live outside of the United States and have ever tried to order anything online from the US, you know that shipping costs and import problems are normal. Viabox has changed that. Viabox is a website that gives you a free US-based shipping address. You order from any US online retailer, ship it to Viabox, and Viabox will ship it to you. Unlike their competitors, they are located in a state with 0% sales tax, so you get the best deal possible. With an easy-to-use, step-by-step website, try Viabox now by clicking the link below in the description box. Now back to the episode. I live in a van definitely by choice. I would say living in a van is just more free. Uh, you can go wherever you want. You can like, you know, live in the mountains or live by the beach. Really cool. <laughs> the benefits is not paying rent in Santa Cruz because it is very, very expensive. And I was born and raised here and I love it. So I want to be able to live here, but I also want to be able to travel. So those two things are very expensive. So this makes it easier. Some of the challenges of living in a van would definitely be not having a bathroom all the time, I think is sometimes a challenge, but it's a challenge that is well worth it, I think. Honestly, I, it, it's hard for me to come up with them. I, I love it so much, so I can't even come up with them. Bought my van on Craigslist totally empty uh, with like nothing in here. I think it was like 3,000. And then I built it over time, so it's pretty hard for me to say. Uh, but I would say I maybe put another 3,000 possibly into like every single thing in here and that's like so many things. At the time when I bought this van, um, the build came together because I was on a property that had lots of extra supplies and uh, wood, tools, um, so it, it helped a lot because I feel like if you try to build a van and you don't have a space or you don't have the tools, um, there's a lot of buying that 
has to go on. It's hard to tell that it's reclaimed, but it, it certainly is. Like this drawer is actually a drawer from like a something we found on the side of the road. So yeah, a lot of it is just put pieces in, you know, from all over the place. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not for everyone. Um, I definitely get a lot of questions about the lifestyle when someone finds out that I live in a van. Um, and that makes me realize that it's not for everyone, the questions that I'll get. Because the questions I get, to me, I'm like, oh, I would totally sacrifice those things to live in a van. Um, but for other people, like certain people that, you know, have to take a shower every day or have to wash their face before they go to sleep, it might not be for them. <laughs> So, people that like to be, you know, outside more than inside. Because <laughs> I think that that's what your van kind of pushes you to do, is to be outside a lot. So if you're not an outside person, if you don't like bugs, <laughs> if you don't like dirt, uh, if you don't like camping, it's probably not for you. Um, you know, I like really small spaces and I already kind of like, I would say I'm a minimalist. Uh, so. Yeah, I think just, I, I kind of was pushed into living in a small space at one point, and then I was like, this is awesome. You have everything at your fingertips, and it just makes life easier, in my opinion, but not for everyone. Mm -hmm. Some people are claustrophobic, and yeah, it's not gonna work for everyone. I would say watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos <laughs> about people that are doing it, because a lot of them are honest, and they'll give you uh, their real opinion of, like uh, what's good what's bad about it and you can determine off of that like would I be able to handle those things or would I not be able to handle those things that's that's kind of how I feel like it works for me. worked for me I think it's a really good lifestyle because of like your imprint like you can really make your imprint really small yeah I like that about it you can follow me on Instagram at vegan mixed chick Hi everyone, hope you enjoyed this episode in the Alternative Dwelling series. If you wanted to see more, a playlist is popping up right now where you can watch every episode we've ever made. Uh, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button and check out the links in the description if you want to support this channel and this show. And we'll see you next Monday for another episode of Alternative Dwellings.